If you've been to a convention, you've probably seen a booth that looks like this. And chances are, if you're like any other person who's going to that convention, you probably bought something from that booth. I mean, why would you not? They have everything. Figures, masks, hoodies. Those really, really cute llama plushies that really everybody needs. But what if I told you that you're probably getting scammed from those people? What's going on guys, Jade here, and this is a quick little video before I pack and leave for Anime Weekend Atlanta, which is happening this very weekend, and hopefully this video will be up before I'm there. I'm gonna make a con packing guide with this convention, I'm gonna be doing a huge vlog thing, it's gonna be a huge romp, and you guys are gonna get to see all of it, but because I am going to this convention, it got me thinking how few people really know about the nature of these specific vendors. I like to call them eBay resellers because that is at their very core what they are. I want you, if you've been to a convention, just imagine an item that you have seen at these booths or a booth like this because I don't have to name the booths and you know what I'm talking about, the vendors halls are full of them. Now I want you to think of an item that you would see there, like maybe a t-shirt or a plushie for instance, and then go right now and look for it on eBay. And chances are you're gonna find it shipping from China for an astronomically lower price than you found it at that vendor's booth. And to be honest with you, that's where they bought it from. Their whole business relies on you and me not knowing that you can go on your phone while you're standing there and purchase the exact same item for infinitely cheaper than what they're offering it to you. I, for instance, I have a friend who saw an All Might hoodie, this one specifically, on sale at a vendor's booth for $90. Get this, they're like 25 on eBay. But you've never seen that All Might hoodie before. You have no idea. And you're like, wow, this person probably got this special edition or something. So you're gonna pay for it. They've literally made like $50 off of you. And you're not at fault here for not knowing this. Who, who is at fault are the people who are knowingly selling you these items at an extremely inflated price. I can think of another anecdote when I wanted to buy a really cute diva mouse. This one specifically, actually. <laughs> I went to the dude and I was like, hey man, how much is this mouse? And I was like, ah, it's gonna be like 20, 25 dollars. This man dead ass told me 60 bucks. And I was like, oh, okay, 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 hold on, hold on. So I went on my phone, I went to eBay and I literally typed in diva mouse. And the mouse that was in front of my face was on eBay for $15 with free shipping. The same mouse. And the reason that I'm ranting about this, the reason that I'm making such a big deal about it right now is because I wanna make sure that we make these people honest. That if even a small fraction of us realize you can find these at vastly cheaper prices, they will have to start being more honest with their prices. And I'm not saying that everything about these eBay reseller booths are totally negative. For instance, most of the time whenever you order something from eBay from China, it's gonna take about three weeks to a month to actually get to you. Two weeks if you're really lucky or if it comes from Hong Kong. So it cuts up the middleman and you're there at the convention, the atmosphere, you know? It's something that you go to conventions to do. You go to conventions to buy things quite frequently. Another thing is that whenever you order from eBay, you don't really know the quality of it. So you can see it right in front of you, grab it, touch it, you know? You can actually get a feel for it. This is what happened whenever I bought my Deku cosplay and my Deku wig, you know? It was right there and I could see that they fit me and I bought them. But I'm not saying that that means we should continue to pay premium prices for things that are not so premium, which I think I'm gonna make a whole separate video about how they scalp figures. God, it, it, listen, if any of you guys have ever been to Japan, you know that figures are not $50, okay? If you're paying $50 for a figure, which you probably are because I am, you literally cannot find them outside of Japan for less than $50 or whatever, you're getting scalped. And that's, ju that's just that on that. That is the, that's the T. I'm getting heated, I'm getting really heated. So how can we combat this? Stop buying from these people. Order from eBay, wait the extra bit of time, and instead, Go to the artist alley. Go to independently owned booths that are actually properly sourcing their stuff. You can ask them usually, and they'll be happy to tell you where they source their stuff from. I know, for instance, this one booth that I buy from a lot, who is at many, many conventions in the Southeast, I'm like, I'm friends with the dude, right? And I ask him, well, where do you get your stuff? And, and he's like, I usually I usually scour Tokyo Otaku Mode, websites like that, and he sells them at a comparable price, I would say. Be vigilant, be on the lookout for 
unfair pricing and I wouldn't say call it out, but don't really shop at that place until your friends are to shop at that place either. After this public service announcement, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I'll see you all at AWA. There's gonna be a lot of, a lot of really fun stuff happening there and I hope that you guys can catch a lot of it. No, for a fact, I'll be catching a lot of it. But beyond that, have a wonderful day guys. Peace out.